hey guys welcome back to the channel morning auto review so today we're gonna be taking a look at this bad girl right here a 2010 Chevrolet Equinox so we just bought this um, I bought this couple of weeks ago I bought it up in Massachusetts um, so we're gonna be taking a look at it and this is the first official car to the channel so we haven't really done any you know fun stuff on it yet we're still looking at what to do on it to make it look a little bit different from the others but um yeah we're gonna be taking a look at it of course we're gonna be doing a full review on it so let's jump into the video guys so this is it it's an all-wheel drive pretty much clean for how much we got it a few scratches around it but it's okay it's an LT all we drive as a set yeah, let's take a look at the truck and see one thing I like about this car is it's very very big from the inside you see how it's clean it's very clean you have your woofer in the back oh yeah we're getting ready for the snow yep so we have our snow gears all here all set Yep, don't forget always have these. You don't know when you will have that flat. The time you'll take to wait for triple eight or somebody to come and rescue you on the highway. Think about getting one of those. On this device to you. Um forgive me about the wind, but it's kind of windy. It's 90, it's 90 degrees out here today. Yeah, it's pretty hot. As you can see, so the only thing we did for this car so far is we bought a set of flow marks, but then we got the wrong size. So that's it. But I mean, this is super clean, guys. Super clean. Yep. Clean headliners. Yep. This is it, guys. So let's take a look at the engine and see what this girl has on her. Jet blue flying up in the sky. Um, so you're looking at a 2.4 liter Ecotec engine, a four cylinder paired to a six speed automatic transmission. Puts about 182 horsepower, zero to 16, like six to 8.2 seconds. It does 22 in the city, 32 on the highway. This is it, guys. Um, it has remote starter. Yep. So, um, remote starter for you to see. So, it goes like this. Lock it. There she goes starts right up yep. Yep. so um, we bought it up in Massachusetts we drove up about an hour 30 minutes to get it drove back since we've been driving it never had any issues with it so far it's been good good on gas shifts perfectly yep. so um let me put the tripod in the back right here okay um so when you start it with the remote starter when you get in it you have to put it a key in the ignition Put a switch on and you see what's up. Always messy. So uh this is uh this is the only light so far that's on the dash. The TPMS has been on. Um it came on when we were coming back when I was driving back um from mass back home and then the light came on. But besides the TPS the TPMS light, 
nothing on it so far. A service engine light came up. Um, I threw the diagnostic machine on it. It was some minor, minor issue. I cleared the code and the, um, the engine light went off and then I'm still observing it here. So if it comes on, then it means that it's an issue that we'll have to deal with eventually. So this is it guys, very spacious. You have your climate control right here. Um, the other trim level, I think it's the LTZ or some other trim level has a touch screen and a backup camera. This one doesn't have it, unfortunately. Um, as I said, 174, 342. When we got it, it was 173. So we've been adding a little miles on a year and there going to work back and forth. But as I said, guys, it's pretty clean. That's what I love, I love about this car. You have lots and lots of space in it. Um, you have your um, traction control right here. You have eco mode. If you want to save up a little bit on gas, yeah, it helps you here and there. With it. You have a big storage box right here, very large. My whole arms could fit in it, literally. Um, your glove department is right here. A lot of storage too. Um, you have extra storage right here too. Yeah, that's my wife's comb. <laughs> yeah, we use it for our daughter too. Um, so, I mean, it's big. It's basically basic. You know, your know, um, what is it? Um, your CD right here. You have aux and um. Yeah, six-speed transmission. You have your cruise control all right here. Your um, window all here. Your um, view mirror adjusters are all here. The um, the seats are both manually and electronically adjustable. So height is electronics. Um, you know, to carry back and forward is manually done. So basically, this is it, guys. So we're gonna take it up on the road for a spin and we're gonna we're gonna see how it, how it drives up. But it's perfect. I, I can tell you that for a fact. It's a perfect car. So um another thing I forgot to mention is the way the seat adjusts is so perfect that you see you see ahead of you, you feel like you're in a truck. Like you're actually in a truck. You have a perfect angle ahead of you and you see the road from a very very perfect angle so listen to it shifts perfectly yep these were all checks that I did when I went to get it from the owner I drove an hour 30 minutes to get it and um, my wife drove the other car, the STS, the Cadillac, and I drove this one, and there was absolutely no issue, not at all. Only issue I saw, only thing I saw was the TPMS light came on, and then it told me that it was a faulty um, monitor. The sensor is faulty. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get the sensor anytime soon but that does not affect the drivability of the car in no way it's it drives without that tpms light comes on you drive the car here and there um we're gonna we're gonna get it inspected we haven't yet gotten inspected yet um, but we got it registered it was help to get to get it registered that was that's another episode by itself getting this car registered whew, it wasn't easy but at least it's registered with you we're using it around it's a daily driver it takes us from point a to point b uh, we're going to be doing another video because we're taking a trip in Philly. Um, it's like five hours drive and we're definitely going to be doing a video, you know, of the trip. It's hot, guys. 90 plus degrees out here. Um, so, great news. Um, I finally um, got my membership with Copart. So I'm officially a member of Copart. So I'll have to find a day that will suit my schedule so that I can go up to the lot in Exeter to film. So I will be filming at the Copart lot there in Exeter very soon. 
I've already spotted some cars that are up for um, for auction pretty soon, and I will be I will be um, thinking about throwing bids on it. But I'm actually going there to see the cars in person in person because that's another um, thumbs up for you if you're interested in bidding for cars at the auction it's 100 percent preferable you go out there yourself and look at the car in person see it for yourself and then you can make that decision if you actually want the car or not so um i'm gonna i will put up the photos of the cars that we've seen we've seen two cars so far we've seen a 2017 equinox uh, with 48 49,000 miles on it, I guess pretty low miles and we are actually we're also looking at a, a 2012 Santa Fe with a hundred a hundred thousand or something like that within that range plus miles um, so we're gonna be going out to Copart and taking a look at those two cars and then we'll also look at other cars and make and bring that video to you too that would be pretty soon and um, I found another sweet spot too where they have cheap cars for sale we are going to be going up it's in massachusetts we're going to be going up there too anytime um anytime soon you know depending on my schedule we'll have to set up a schedule to take a trip it's like 35 minutes from where i live so um it's called um helping hands of america a lot of people know about it it's up in mass you have cars there for cheap donated cars clean title cars and what have you so um we actually going to be taking a look at that lot too and we're going to be bringing you a video from there so um this is it guys the 2010 chevy equinox lt the first car ever to the channel more cars to come thanks for your support guys don't forget keep sharing um keep subscribing keep looking keep watching the videos Make your comments of, you know, things that you would like for us to include in the channel. And we will definitely take your concerns or comments into consideration. So, um, that's it, guys. Thanks for the support. Bye. See you another time. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, comment, like, subscribe, and we will keep bringing you more interesting videos, always.